show. All right, now it's time for some stuff you may have missed. Yeah. Thank you, Fatty. And uh, stuff you may have missed. The writing is pink, as always. And Jenna from the Dragons, one of the uh, women who work behind the scenes in rugby league, works for the Dragons, proud Dragons fan. All the rest. Good on you, Jenna. Thanks for helping up tonight. And stuff you may have missed, we're brought to us by a very good sponsor. Your local home, Timber and Hardware. The promise hardware store. And uh, it's a bit like starting off with rugby league royalty tonight because I don't think Darren Lockyer has ever been a part of this segment. But what a night he had last Friday night against your Dragons, Jenna. Let's have a look at some of it. First of all, for the first time in his career, he missed a low five. Let's watch it. A little bit out of sync. Jarrell Yayi. Wee, misses that. Then he gets his first ever Falcon. 344 games in his career. This is the first Falcon ever for Darren Lockyer. When Freddie spoke to him at the end of the game, he's got a black eye. Was it from the Falcon? No, it's from a teammate. Sam Friday copped him right in the mush early in the game. So what a night. Well done, Darren Lockyer. Stuff you may have missed on this particular Thursday night. Now, Sam was a bit confused about who to tackle there. He was also a little bit confused earlier in the night when he spoke to referee Jared Maxwell. <laughs> you tell me what you're doing. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to Andrew McCulloch. He'll tell you. All right, mate. Thanks a lot. Oh, this gets better. <laughs> yeah, great moment, and that was the Duke of Penrith laughing there. And well done, Sam, delegating very nicely. Now confused. I found a Parramatta fan very confused last weekend. He still thinks it's 1981. Have a look at him. <laughs> Also a Broncos fan, uh, so excited he decided to play with his nipples there uh, after Jamie Sowd hit the post. Bet you he's glad he's on television tonight, well done. And this Penrith fan, I mean, what is going on? The buffet's on the ground first of all, but he decides to tackle the security guard. I mean, <laughs> the other way around. I'm, I must have missed something there, but anyway... Uh... I think, uh, I think buffet's a pretty good description there. Now, speaking of Gus, uh, he loves us running AFL, and from the AFL pre-game last week, the Gold Coast Suns match, this was pretty clever. Stuff you may have missed. Gary Ablett, uh, we've seen Sam Burgess juggle a few balls on the sideline. That's pretty good. Three footballs off the feet, the whole bit. What a star. At Rugby League, we can do it better. What about Manu Vanaboy? Copying it in the balls. Yes, indeed. That is the beast in his, I'd say his left girly head on. Always someone worse off at the Vancouver Hockey this week. The riots after Vancouver lost the final. Uh, that bloke copped, he copped a ball shooter, I suppose you could call it. Fantastic stuff you may have missed. Let's keep it in the pants. Uh, a lot of viewers from State of Origin said we missed something involving Jonathan Thurston last week, practising the bongos. Uh, have a look, see what you think. Uh, here he was, third man in the tackle, there you go. Here's a little squeeze, why not? Now, I think it's a disgrace in rugby league that uh, blokes are doing fake hindies. They're losing the shorts, but not showing us the crack. They're wearing these bike pants, and I think David Gallup has to do something about it. But thank heavens there's still players like Reese Wesser, who's a traditionalist and uh, just got a good shot of his back door uh, last Friday night. Uh, well done, Reese Wesser. Very good stuff. Stuff you may have missed. Stuff you may have missed also from Friday night. Scotty Prince may be an old dog, but he still knows new tricks. Ben Ross was causing a bit of trouble in the scrum. Scott couldn't feed it, so what does he do? Puts his foot on Ben's foot and stops it. Watch it again. Did you miss it? Holds his foot down, feeds the scrum, the modern-day scrum. What a beauty that is. Stuff you may have missed. Now, falling over type stuff you may have missed. Brett Stewart for Manly. Classy moment for the snake. Straight off the kickoff. Brett Stewart's underneath it. Under hey, uh, it's a slippery night. That can happen. There was a college graduate in Seattle this week, proves the crappy dancing. It can go viral, that's going around the world. Poor young girl. I'm here to tell you, Lance Armstrong's career is over. Just watching him in training last week. Uh, not going all that good. And from the world of MotoGP, you may have seen it on the news tonight, but this may have been stuff you may have missed. The two bikes join up, and the two riders are trying to work out what on earth they're going to do. How do they get back on their bike? They're still going around. Do I chase it? Do I try and put my hand on it? Have a look at this. Two hours later, when the bikes came to a stop, what's the reaction of the bloke with a yellow helmet? Ah, fair dinger. The race is over. There you go, stuff you may have missed. Now, on Channel 9, we've got some great uh, weather girls, Janie Seal, uh, Natalie Grzlecki. On the BBC in Scotland, I'm not sure who's meant to be reading the weather. This was their news during the week. Now, let's see if we can have the weather forecast now with Kat. <laughs> <laughs> Some technical problems. That wasn't Cat Kitty either. There you go. Interesting. 
Not bad. And finally tonight, uh, we can't boast too hard at Channel 9. We've had our own little uh, hiccups in the news department this week. You may have missed this stuff two nights ago. A cold cross to the Blue Mountains. Watch the bloke behind. Yes, we had a streaker. But, you know, while we honour this bloke tonight, I've got to say he's nowhere near good enough. He needs to go to our streaker we showed earlier this year. This is doing it with style. Yes, yes. If you're going to streak and you're going to do it on camera, You've got to do more than just run past. Yeah, that bloke's got it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a very nice way to finish. Stuff you may have missed. Perth, we're on our way to do the football tomorrow night. See you there. There you Thanks, Andrew. Good job there, Chet. Now it's time for our clean up with Kino moment. Goal. That's goal. <laughs> Yes, Friday night saw a big semi thigh day absolutely smash Jason Nightingale up there in Brizzy. Big hit that one from semi. And then on Sunday, we we'll see it one more time. <laughs> Playing great form, semi thigh day. And then uh, Simona cleaned up Cesar Wacker in front of a full house at Leichhardt. Another big hit there. Two big hits, and there are our clean up with Kino moment for this week.